So we went to go check on the RV and start the generator for a little bit. It looks like some a-hole ran into our RV. Down there. All right, so Todd's here. Like crocodile all right, so I'll let you do this so I make sure yeah. they don't screw up something in their front yard. All right. Todd, don't pull out a snake or anything crazy. No, I'm just trying to see how far it's going to go. Do you want me to move this back more? No, this is fine. Okay. Right. Going. From, what I'm, from where I can feel, it seems it's going this way. So for those of you that don't know, Todd is the bravest person in this world right now, shoving his hand into holes where there may or may not be a rat. <laughs> not scared of rats? A giant creature could be living beneath our, our turf right now. Oh, is that that smell? Yeah. Oh, Jesus there. Christ. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> do you smell it? Yeah, get closer, no. bro. Remy, do you smell it? It reminds me of My uh, God. Uh, what is it? Parks and Rec, where that guy has that new, you know, he's that perfume guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's like, oh, God, he's like, the hairs and my nose burning. So we're going the uh, humane route right now, or trying to. Thanks to Todd and we're Brandon over Charles there. Charles' natural body over <laughs> to get them out of here. We've just been taking Remy's diapers. Oh, my God, that might not be a terrible idea. be a real monster coming. Yeah. <laughs> You see what they're doing, bud? She doesn't care about the smell. It's rough. <laughs> so what they're doing is they're putting this like straight up like raccoon urine all around our house. Yeah. So what'd you say this is? It's like blue poop. Yeah. You got blue. Po oh, you're playing in blue poop. No. No. Yes. We've had a lot of stuff going on today. We've had the mosquito guys. We have the turf guys uh, coming next week. We had uh, Todd and Brandon come out to take care of the rats, and now we're having the uh, water conditioner taken care of. <laughs> Friday's turning into one after another and after another, but it's good to get it out of the way now so we don't have to deal with it in the weekend. What's that? Oh, it's a little poop. So we got the system all taken care of. We got the, the turn around the house with Todd and Brandon. This is something I wanted to show you guys because I always assumed this was just ice, but I'm gonna do the ultimate test to make sure this is a situation. With our ice, you can see, is it gonna focus? Right there, you see the white right there? Apparently that's all that stuff that we showed you guys is on the bottom of it, just frozen. So I'm gonna dump all this ice and then we're gonna test the same thing. Might be today, might be tomorrow, it depends. You gotta go poop? You gotta go poop? <laughs> First of all, that sucked. You gotta burp? Maybe. <laughs> oh, got a bowl. Lose your ears. Pop quiz. What? How old are you? Three. How old's daddy? Daddy is three. I'm three? Look at me. What? How old is daddy? I'm four. Mentally. I'm coming. Good morning, Saturday. We are going to... Remy, where are we? Rem, where are we? Where are we? Where are we, bud? Um, and Melissa came today. Place. So, Daddy and Mommy have been really busy, so we thought this would be a good little reward for you doing so well. And Allie's currently uh, at a hair appointment that she made like two months ago. And Melissa came this time. Yay! Right, Rem? What? Good job. Oh, I know what you want. I uh, already know all the tricks. Okay, hang on to it. Ready? Can you get on there? Yeah. Hang on tight, okay? Are you scared? Look. You did it. <laughs> I always hit my head on this place. Always hit my head here. Luckily, this one's bigger than the one in Brandon. I mean, Tampa. Gives me a little more headspace. Yep. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> well, it's not this one. Which way are we going? <laughs> Popcorn.
doing good. Do you have fun with Aunt Lissa? Aunt Melissa, do you want children? Yeah. <laughs> After today? <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep for 12 hours. Wow, what a luxury. <laughs> she, won four, she won four ducks though. She did? We have four more on, ducks to add to our 75 credits. count. She got a double duck. You yeah. got a double duck? And a watch. And what? a watch and an egg with coins on it. That's wild. Oh, yeah. Remy. An egg. She had a good day today. Oh, what? and we have this for next time. What's that? A game card. Wow. Got suckered into that. <laughs> of course you did. Thank she you did for not, She didn't want to go into the hurricane winds though. She did not like that. Thank you so much, Aunt Lissa. One of my favorite things as far as like Chinese food is sesame chicken, but obviously I don't Our eat Our loves it. I swear that yeah. you have one of the first real meals you made me. Yeah. Um, it's like cereal. So I'm trying to make the, the sauce. The sauce actually is the secret ingredient. It's ketchup, like a lot of things. So far, looks sort of like it. <laughs> we'll see. What, buddy? Sesame chicken. You want to make it like me next time? You want to do cooking with my three-year-old? Okay, you can you can start for me, okay? Ah, uh, look at that cutie with the sunshine booty, and I think I love her so much. Well, that messed up. He was like, "Hey, how'd you get up on Dad's shoulders?" <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> you say peace out. Peace out. Hey Rem, can I see what you're wearing today? Little Mermaid. You want to show them what I'm wearing? Yeah. Can you hold this? Two hands. Like that. Hold it up. What am I wearing? Remy picked it out. Um, Simpsons. Simpsons. Can you turn that around? You can okay. film the vlog. Look at you. Hold it like this. And talk to the camera lens. Hi. Like hold it up like that. Hi. We got it. Okay, so I turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. So we got the photo. Yeah. Right, cheese. 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 Did we get it? Yeah. We are doing our nice little. I feel like our Sunday little adventure that we always go. Well, we haven't done it in like two months. Yeah, it's been a while. We're, yeah, we're gonna go get some uh, breakfast sandwiches, some more coffee, and, and some donut coffee. holes. Look at your Remy's outfit too. Yeah. Say yo, what's up? She chose it today, and she chose Dad's outfit. Yeah, she, she chose my shoes today. She said that uh, we had to wear blue, but Mom doesn't own blue. Remy, look. Oh, they're waiting up. I know they're no, they're glit they're sparkling. It's sparkling, but it's already. What is it, the twelfth or something? Already? I mean, it's not a lot, but geez. So many people that their tradition for Christmas is November first. They start putting up Christmas stuff. I don't put Christmas stuff up. I feel like until December first. Yeah, at least and the yeah. tree is or not. Or it's like so... around Thanksgiving. We do think we do the tree around That's Thanksgiving. It. When home people cute. starts putting their Christmas stuff they're, out, they're like starting. Christmas trees, Remy yeah. saw it yesterday. But their Christmas tree. Uh, That's right. when I start thinking about it. They're cleared out today. No. Did you eat them all? She said no. I'm still eating. So we went to go check on the RV and start the generator for a little bit. It looks like some a hole ran into our RV and didn't report it. You can see right here, right there. Scratches all here, down here. I know we already knew about this thing, but just like, like there, I mean, that's quite obvious. Just, you know, so much Allie's gonna go tell the people over at the storage place because they have cameras everywhere. But the problem is we haven't come here in a while. So it could be any when, you know, the past couple weeks. However, that pisses me off so much. I can't do a little Remy's doing some practicing right now with some little slither, I think it is. You've been such a good kid today while we got some work done. Got a little playtime. Plus, it's fun to watch. I mean, it is a game, but at the same time, I know she's learning about the computer, which I think is incredibly important for a kid doesn't matter how old to know that kind of stuff because that's what they're gonna know for the rest of their life. Like millennials, we had the, the cusp of when it was like invented and coming out. Then the next generation is pretty much a lot of like, that's what they know, but they don't know kind of like Gen Z, but Gen Alpha, that is all they're gonna know. It's incredibly important. And I think it's fascinating how quick kids pick it up. She's definitely smarter than I was. No, we're not gonna buy that, or we're breaking open that piggy bank. 
Let's get more money in that piggy bank than anything. That was making you frustrated. <laughs> it's glitching? Yeah, no. Yeah, that's so annoying. Hit, esca hit escape. Let's restart it. Remember escape and then R. Remember R? I know, but you have to R. Oh, R. This is good, good learning. Yep. And then you hit enter. Which one was enter? Buzzer. That's enter, remember? Enter. Yep. There you go. Good job. Learning experience in a fun way. So you guys have saw what we are dealing with right now. When we came up, you're we supposed to start the RV, you know, every couple of weeks, run the generator, run oh the engine. That way it keeps from gunking up. Things I have no idea yeah, why, but I just it. do what I was told. Drove up there and I'm like looking at it and I noticed that something's like kind of like in the front windshield or not in the windshield, the front of the grill is like dangling. And I was like, you know, curious. I was so concerned. I was like, wait, what is that? I got closer and I was like, no way. That is our windshield wiper, arm and blade. Not just the blade, the entire arm. And then I got closer and I was like, okay, well this, you know, it could have been the wind, you know what I mean? It's older, it's an older RV. Maybe it deteriorated over time. And it's been pretty windy here in Florida or in St. Pete. So I just thought that may have been what it was. And then Allie got out and she started looking a little bit more. <laughs> and she saw that there were those deep scratches, like not just superficial stuff, but like deep scratches and about like shoulder shoulder height or something along those lines and it like at the bottom where the bumper is and you know the bumper is already chipped we already knew that so that wasn't a part of it then we noticed that the uh the mirror was brushed and scratched as well you know things happen but what we told the people at the storage unit and they're scrubbing through the luckily we have security cameras all around our rv there's which is good because now they can go and look and see who did it how did it did it um, and then get back to us. Did oh, Jesus I Christ, you scared me. But the problem it. is, because we haven't been there in quite raining. a while. I was raining. What did you guys want to go run in the rain? No. <laughs> the Remy problem is that we got to figure <laughs> out uh, when it was, because it's been a while Look since we've been there, so they have to scrub through for a couple weeks now. It sucks. My point is, if you ever hit something with your bike, your car, if you're an idiot like me, running into something, don't drive away. Leave a note. Yeah. Leave a note. Be an upstanding uh, individual because karma is going to probably eat them. Eat them. It's going to bite them in the ass is what I was trying to say. All right, so the concoction of sesame plant-based chicken. What do you think? Good. Not bad? You're gonna have cauliflower rice. Thank you, Remy, you did a great job. All right, guys, well, it's been a very long weekend. I don't know if anyone's uh, complimented me on my shirt. I know I did get them at the store. Probably the coolest shirt ever. Remy picked it out. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.